For this tutorial, we're going to stack two images that are shot in horizontal or landscape orientation, and these are the two images here. First thing we're going to do is select both of them by holding down Shift, then right click, go to Photo Merge, and then Panorama. And it's spherical, it looks okay. Cylindrical, it still looks okay. Let's just see what one I prefer best. And I think I am going to go with spherical. And then I'm going to merge these and create the stack. As you can see, I've, I have auto crop already selected and I don't have any fill edges selected. Merge. So here we have the two images merged and I'm just going to collapse this and collapse that. So this is the image we will be working on. I'm going to go make a few edits to it and the first thing I'm going to do is just check the horizon for this. So I'm going to get into the crop tool and I'm going to take the straighten tool, click one edge of the horizon and click another edge just in the level of the water and it moved ever so slightly there. So that was okay take that into there. Now that for me is a distraction so I'm going to try and remove this. I'm going to turn off visualize spots and I'm going to use that and it's now decided it's going up there so let's try and bring this back down and try and match some of the ripples within here. That one there will do me fine. So what I'm going to do is balance the image out by editing the sky, the mountains there, and the sea. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore the histogram totally here. And I'm just going to edit the image to how I see, or how I want to see it. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring back the highlights. Then I'm going to lift the shadows. And that already for me is a lot nicer, although it's blown out here, I do not mind that. The whites I can bring back slightly, but I've got to watch when you bring back whites that you don't, de don't end up with a grey within this. Blacks, perhaps just ever so slightly. Texture, I'm going to leave until I come in to edit everything. I'm also going to warm the image up slightly, just to about there and then I am going to go in to the color grading and I'm going to warm the midtones up as well holding down shift and I'll put on the cursor icon so that you can see this and I'm going to warm up the midtones so you see that it's affecting the sky so that's just a bit too much there just a tiny bit about there. Shadows I'm okay with. Highlights I'm going to warm up as well. I'm going to take them over there slightly. So if I do that, that's you can see there what's happening with that. And again, slightly too much. Just a touch in there. And I'm quite happy with that. So the next part of the edit again is going into the masks because I've got more versatility with the masks and editing everything from there so I'm going to get straight into masks I'm not going to ask it to select the landscape I'm going to work with it individually in this one so the first thing I'm going to do is select the sky and I'm going to show the overlay and you can see it's actually quite a nice selection of that sky yes it's coming on over here but I'm not worried about that because of what I'm going to do. So let's bring the exposure of the sky down just slightly. Tiny bit of contrast in it. Bring the highlights down again. Again, as I say, I'm not bothered about this blown out area. Shadows in the sky I'm going to bring down. Also going to take the colour into the sky and cool it down slightly just about there because then we're going to be playing with the blues and the warmer tones over here I may introduce some magenta to it yep that's helped up here 
Now I am going to go down and add some texture to this and then some clarity just to about there which again will bring out more of these lovely textures up here. Next mask I am going to work with is in the water here and I'm going to put a linear gradient in and I'm going to drag that up to there. I'm going to darken it down ever so slightly at the beginning or should I say at the front of the image just to give us a lead back into the image just about that much tiny bit of contrast overall highlights I can bring back or I can leave them shadows I'm going to lift just to see what I get and about there is okay it's affected what I've just put in with the exposure but I'm actually okay with that I'm not going to warm it up at all I'm just going to leave it as it is so my next mask is I'm now going to jump into landscape and I could have did this in any order at all I only want the mountains now I could have created that at the very beginning but you approach each image differently due to what you are thinking with it so with the mountains I am going to warm the temperature up just a tiny bit I'm going to add a touch more contrast in it to give them slightly more depth shadows I'm going to see what happens with them yep that's okay whites again I'm not bothered with blacks I don't think I want to touch because I can see this copse of trees here and the trees in the distance but let's see what happens when I raise them nope not too happy let's just take them down to about four so far all looking good my next mask before I edit in here my next mask is going to be playing with all the highlights in the mountains and we're going to approach this one slightly differently we are going to take a luminance range and I'm going to go into about there and you can see it's picked up quite a bit of the image so if I show that I want to dial that back slightly just so that it's the highlights and I'll bring that in there bring that one in there and any up here I can remove or paint out I might want to increase some of these again I'm going to turn this mask on and off yep I'm okay with that so I'm going to subtract from this using a brush because that will be the quickest way and let's take this up to 100% and I'm going to remove everything in here I'm going to turn this back off again just to see what I can see in here right. what I'm going to do with the luminance range is I'm going to put some warmer tones into it and that's just too much there so let's reset it and just bring it in slightly about there let's turn the exposure of it up slightly just to about there I need to watch what's happening here I'm going to turn the mask on and off and you can see that there is actually on the hills themselves I'm going to turn the mask back on and off I'm going to bring back the exposure slightly probably to about there now everything's looking good for this just now and I have a couple more edits to do and one of them is the light in here so for that as you probably guessed if you've watched any of the other videos is going to be a radio gradient and for this we are going to automatically jump down and dehaze this so that it's a bit softer white there 
that actually worked okay with the first, that's minus 30. Then we're going to warm it up. It's about there, which is blowing this out, but I am not bothered about that. It actually doesn't deter from the image at all, in my opinion. And perhaps helps it even more. So I can move this up and down. It's entirely up to me. Up there, it's eating into the clouds a bit too much for me. And it is a glow sun anyway, so just touching on the edge of the clouds, it's okay there. Everything is looking okay. Maybe extend this out a touch further. Take that off the screen slightly so that the centre is there, so that maximum effect is in here fading out. And that actually looks okay. I may draw back the dehaze just ever so slightly, so that's minus 30, perhaps to about there. And I'm quite happy with that just now. I'm now going to emphasise or complement the light by adding another linear gradient in here just about there and this one I'm going to jump straight in to the clarity just to see the effect it has let's add a tiny bit of texture and it's going to make them pop just too much for me so I'm drawing the texture back I'm now going to get into the shadows Pull the shadows back slightly. Exposure, I think, will be too much for this image, and yes, it is. So let's just take that down a bit and rotate it. And I think for this image, we may call it done. Let's go in just to see the before and after. So there's the before, and there's the after, and we will we'll call this image complete. Hopefully you get something from this edit. Thanks again for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.